It's time for a little mayhem right here on Boom in the Sky. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to Boom in the Sky. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are getting ready and planning for the 4th of July. It is coming up, but today I wanted to do a quick rack update for you guys. So uh, let me give you a little background. Two years ago when I started doing fireworks shows for the first time, I was looking on the internet and I found on YouTube a great video from Joel Robinson. I'll link it in the description below about how to build different racks. And I built a whole bunch of them. I don't know if I've ever talked about the rack supply, but I'll see if I can find a picture and I'll throw that up uh, here. But I built 10, no, I built, take that back. I built 12 10 shot racks, which means I have in my shows up to 120 mortars going off at a time or throughout the show. So usually for uh, my finale, I'll send 40 or 50 or 60 of them up together, uh, fast fused together. But anyway, one of the problems that I've always found, and I've, I've what I do is I put all of them together and I angle them uh, away from all the houses and... It works really well. I I, uh, I take one long piece of uh, like two by four or two by three, and I just tack all of them together with with screws. And you know, that's my that's my that's part, usually part of my finale or a good portion of my finale. Um, the challenge is everything goes off and ends up uh, exploding in the sky in the same location. Whereas you're not really seeing different things in different places. You're seeing just kind of a wash of all the different colors and effects and everything. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to give a little bit of space to the different parts of the sky so that I could actually have different things going off at the same time in different locations. Luckily for me, I stumbled across a great site that makes mortar racks right here in the USA. It's called Great Lakes Mortar Racks. You can check them out at greatlakesmortarracks.us. I'll throw their, their link in the description below as well. And when I was there, as you can see here, they have all sorts of different products. When I was there, I stumbled across one of the sections of their their site and it's called specialty racks and what did I find a really cool design on specialty racks right here if you click on it and I picked up the 12 shot mayhem rack so it's time for a little mayhem this is a really cool rack it's out of stock right now just because it's just before July 4th but I'm assuming they'll make more and they'll be in stock after July 4th but this is the 12 shot mayhem rack um, what it does is it allows you to have multiple shots going each way. So every other shot goes right or left. You'll, I'll line it up. Basically what I'm planning to do is line it up uh, so that it's lengthwise opposed to horizontal perpendicular. So it's lengthwise and everything goes off as an X. So one shot, two shot, one shot, two shot, one shot, two shot. And then it'll give a little bit of that width that I'm looking for uh, to my racks and to my finale. Uh, I'm thinking about just fast fusing it and letting it rip. Um, but I can't wait to, to see it in action and can't wait to set it up. I may actually put it on a pallet or something and just tip it up a tiny bit. Um, I'll drop a couple pictures and links and video in the in in here so you can actually see it. It's made with some really great uh, HDPE mortar tubes. They when one of the things is they don't sell it without the mortar tubes. Uh, it doesn't really add that much in shipping, but it does come with these really cool blue mortar tubes, as you can see here. They're uh, really well built, nicely constructed, totally sturdy. Uh, they have staples all around the outside on the bottom where the the uh, plug is. Um, but anyway, that is the the tube that they include. They're blue, so they stand out. The current tubes that I use are black. Uh, I picked them up at uh, mortarsupply.com for my traditional racks. But but yeah, so that's that's what it is. Uh, it's really cool. It's a really great design. I can't wait to use it. But you'll definitely see it in the in the showcase in my Fourth of July show this year. I can't wait. Can't wait. But anyway, again, it's six shots one way and six shots another. They do offer a 24-shot version of it. They also offer one called the Serpent Rack. Again, I'll bring this up here. If I click on the product page and then throw it over to Specialty Racks, uh, you can see here 
There is a Serpent Rack. They offer it in 12 and 24 shot versions. This is the 12 shot. As you can see, it is a, uh, it's a meandering shot. So the first one would go to the right, then it would be one straight up, then one to the left, back to center, back to right, back to center, back to right, you know, and so on and so forth. So, um, but this is, these are the serpent racks. I picked up again, the, uh, mayhem rack. So if I go back here, uh, you can see they do have a 12 shot and a 24 shot version of the mayhem rack and then a 12 shot and 24 shot version of the serpent rack. They also have some, some adjustable racks. Uh, they have fan racks. They have all sorts of different stuff. Uh, they have a six shot mayhem rack as well. Uh, and a six shot, uh, on a nine shot Skybuster rack. So, uh, but I, I can a hundred percent, uh, verify the quality of these racks. Uh, let me see if I can find a picture of it, this one for you. So you can see what it does. So this one is, uh, a fan rack each way. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so this is the Skybuster. So it's got they kind of go forward and backwards and side to side at the same time. So um, really nice products. Again, they do have uh, regular products as well. They have regular racks. Uh, they have 36 shot racks, 24 shot racks, 18 shot racks, and a various, a bunch of configurations, 12 shot racks, 48 shot, 50 shot. Uh, they have tracer racks for Roman candles, uh, both three shot, five shot, so they have a five place tracer fan and then they have an extreme fan. So you can see here on the page, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my racks for this year's 4th of July. Again, Great Lakes Mortar Racks US. They're made here right here in, well, not here. I'm in Florida, but they ship them to you, but they're made here right in the USA. Uh, check them out. Super great. Uh, really nice quality. They're stapled. Uh, nothing's going to go anywhere. Uh, really nice all the cuts are really nice, clean edges, etc. They look way better than the racks that I built. Uh, I'm not a carpenter by any means, and I don't really have the necessary tools. So if you guys are looking for a rack, maybe for New Year's or for your New Year's show or Labor Day show, uh, definitely check out GreatLakesMortarRacks.us. And I would recommend, and I'll let you know after it happens, uh, I would definitely check out the uh, mayhem rack. So either in 12 or 24 shot configurations. Anyway, let me know guys in the comments down below. How do you guys shoot your mortars or your canisters or your ball shells? So let me know in the comments down below. What do you use? Have you made racks? Do you use uh, poor man racks, which are if you basically take the mortar tubes out of the canister sets that you get from whatever Xcals or whatever it happens to be. Do you take those and Put them into some sort of configuration or do you build with spe uh, specific mortar tubes for your uh, rack so um, i picked up my last time again the last time i i, I did this I, when i built racks i used mortarsupply.com and of course our friend redbeard i'll link that one above here of the redbeard uh, scurvy dog check that one out above if you just need six shots or nine shots or 18 shots he's got a whole bunch of different products so but anyway that's it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick update on my rack update. I'm hoping to do a stash update here soon. I'm probably going to film it hopefully this coming weekend. I'm also picking up one last stash. Uh, so I'll probably hopefully just put it all into one video and let you guys see my entire stash. I've got probably more fireworks that I'm going to shoot for July 4th, but I'm planning ahead because uh, fireworks are obviously getting harder and harder to find. I'll link that video about why you should buy fireworks now above here as well. Um, anyway, again, thanks for coming to Boom in the Sky. If you like this video, definitely smash that like button. Again, leave a comment down below and subscribe. Hit that little notification bell just to make sure you don't miss any of our videos that are coming up. Again, 4th of July is just a few short weeks away. I think it's two weeks from yesterday is when I'm filming this. I'm filming this on uh, Monday. Uh, so check it out, guys. Thanks again for coming. And like I always say, make it beautiful and make it loud. Thanks, guys.